bus tires screeched to a halt, and the little girl stepped off the bus. She crossed the road into her driveway, but when she took her gaze off the ground and up to the house, she felt like something wasn't right. The house had an empty feel to it. She almost gave in to the urge to run away. She choked back the feeling and opened the front door. The house was visibly deserted. She thought no one was home until she heard something hit the floor and roll. She walked into the hallway and saw her two-year-old brother in the room at the end. She approached closer, the spikes of adrenaline and fear shocking her veins. He was sitting there on the floor, facing away from her. She didn't see what he was playing with until the object rolled out from in front of him. It was her mother's head. She stood in shock as the little boy grasped what was left of the backbone, faced the front of the head toward him, and brushed his fingers on top of her mother's hair. The grandmother's head was sitting beside him, freshly torn off. She screamed at him, tried to make him stop. He whipped his head around with a series of cracks, his body still facing the wall. A long, wide, shadowy black smile spread across his face. Her gaze met a pair of two shadowy black eyes. He stood up with the head in his hands, then let it drop on the floor. It made a loud thud. Blood and bits of flesh came loose as it hit the ground. She blinked, and in that blink he was right in front of her. His fingernails extended. He sank them into her flesh as he rapidly climbed up her body. His face was now at hers. His eyes bored into hers as he slowly leaned in closer and closer. Several weeks later, the little two-year-old sat at the orphanage. He played with several brightly colored balls, rolling them across the floor. A blonde, well-dressed woman and her husband walked through the door. She came to pick up the little one, grabbing him under the arms and putting him on her hip. Her husband received the birth certificate and the other adoption papers from the nurse. But as they were walking out the door, the little boy looked back at his playmates. A long, black, shadowy smile spread across his face.